he's a, a Seattle-based artist. Okay. Yeah. His style looks familiar to me. I guess I don't know if I've seen his work before. Or are you from Minnesota? Or I am. I'm from uh, Southern Minnesota. Gotcha. Albert Lee is one of the uh, yeah. came up here. Well, it is season one, episode one. The what you would call the rookie card for Bob Ross, the first on-air painted episode painting um, of over 400 paintings that he painted on air. This is the first one. You see the the blue sky, right? And and you see the pond. You see uh, the rocks that that water would have been rolling off of. You see tranquility, right? You see stillness. You see just an emotional reset for yourself to just take a breath when you start to think about how he approached every show. I see the person, you know, I see Bob, I see the, the encouragement that he gave the world that anybody can be anything. Bob Ross, man, study up. I mean, he's literally the person that had outside of, you know, your school art class. You know, my parents introduced to all of it to me when I was a kid. And For me, in a small town, I was introduced to art outside of school on TV. It was Bob Ross and trying to paint or draw along with his episodes. I was a complete disaster, but you know, I really liked doing it. What this piece represents is the people's artist. This isn't an institution that's telling you that Bob Ross is great, right? It's not some highbrow gallery telling you that Bob Ross is great. This is the masses, the population in the world that are saying Bob Ross is great, and it's reflected in Google Analytics. For example, uh, there are over 350,000 unique visitors or searches, excuse me, on Google every single month for Bob Ross. When you compare that to Andy Warhol or Pablo Picasso, the artists that you may be more familiar with in an institution, they're not even close. <laughs> 